there are rumors all over the place that uh, some of them are sponsored by government of India. Yes. I don't know the truth. In fact, the stronger and the clearer the mandate of the people is, the better it is for the unity of a union. The founder of uh, Jamaat Islami here was Gilani Sahab. Uh, I was in seventh class when he became active. After the debate, he held my hand and he said, you will be the hero. You will be the hero of Muslims. After 1987, uh, for the first time we are witnessing that uh, Jamaat is participating in the election. So how do you see this change from boycotting election to participating in a, in a democratic process? Parabula was the uh, most important town after partition. I suffered a lot. I was uh, uh, subjected to attack of uh, head guarded uh, twice and uh, straight straight firing in the presence of CRP and JK police. I was shot at. Beg Saab, uh, you have been in uh, PDP for the long time and then you left the party. And then again in January 2024, the news circulated that you joined the party again. But your close associates tell me that uh, ki, uh, you have been left the party for a long time back. So what the, what is the actual scenario that when uh, did you left the party? Uh, uh, did you join the party again or not? See, I was the person who gave the idea of uh, the, you know making a new regional party after we were disappointed in NC. Mm -hmm. That was me back ninety eight. I drafted the uh, manifesto and the basic declaration of basic principles. Um, Mufti was very happy to read it, but he said that his daughter had become a member of the uh, assembly and uh, she may not wish to resign. She was a Congress MLA. I said, well, then it's her choice. But he said, if you give me in writing, I will send it to her. When she read the manifesto, she voluntarily resigned from Congress and joined PDP. We were uh, like family. But with the passage of time, I realized that you know there were issues on which we had to drift away from each other. I don't want to go into that because that's bitterness. And uh, the last stage came when uh, Mufti Saab asked me that I should contest the parliamentary election. He said, I will. After a few minutes, he said, Mahbub, I will should also contest. I said, fine. After a few minutes, you know, he used to have coffee. He said, well, Tariq Ara should also contest. And why not? Then he said, you organize it and take care of it. You understand that? Uh, <laughs> we did that, we went to Parliament, great experience, but within a week or so, Mabu was resigned. The idea was that I should be, and after some time, even Kara left party, Amit Kara left party. So after that, I saw no reason, you know, to continue the fiction. And, there was no formal split, there was no formal resignation, mm -hmm. but I just disassociated myself. Okay. Uh, just before the election, many party uh, approached you uh, to get in touch with you and um, they wanted to uh, that you f fight election on their ticket. Why do you choose to fight independent? You see, right here, I think there are 26 members. Uh, uh, gentlemen are ladies, I think gentlemen, all gentlemen, who are contesting election for the uh, assembly seat. Mm -hmm. And uh, there are rumors all over the place that uh, some of them are sponsored by government of India. Yes. I, I don't know the truth. What is the fact? I don't know why government of India should be interested in fragmenting the mandate of the people. Mm -hmm. In fact, the stronger and the clearer the mandate of the people is, the better it is for the unity of in Union of India. Uh, I think this Baraula has been singled out. 
for that targeting me. There are right wing parties like Jabhat, Jabhat e Islami, which are very busy trying to uh, put me down, blacken my face, you know, uh, and create a hatred wave against me. Well, we have a long history. Uh, the founder of uh, Jamaat Islami here was Gilani Sahab. Uh, I was in seventh class when he became active, you know, in in politics. And one day he came to attend a, a debate that we were having in high school, uh, Baravna. After the debate, he held my hand and he said, "You will be the hero. You will be the hero of Muslims." I said, "Sir, I would like to be." the servant of the people of India and not any particular community. And he let my hand go. So, so you uh, you talked about uh, Jamaat e Islam. Uh, after 1987, uh, for the first time we are witnessing that uh, Jamaat is participating in the election. Mo uh, many of the Jamaat candidates are fighting election. So how do you see this change from boycotting election to participating in a, in a democratic process? How do you see this change? The process uh, is a welcome step. What is important is that in case one or many of them become members of the Legislative Assembly. That will be the test of their true character and intentions. So I, I, I was... I otherwise welcome their participation. So you welcome the uh, participation? Participation, of but I will keep my fingers crossed, crossed about their conduct, which will come to four only after they are in place as members of the Legislative Assembly. So, do you see any hidden agenda of Jamaat? How can I know? How, how, how can I be? It's a secret organization. <laughs> I was going through your uh, manifesto, and uh, one thing that cast my eye, uh, eye uh, was uh, uh, you were talking about the Greater Baramula thing. Can you can you please elaborate about yeah, this? I have, the, I have it written there. Okay. You you choose whatever mm -hmm. items you like. Mm -hmm. uh, I can't repeat that. Uh, greater, you see, uh, Baramula was the uh, most important town after partition. Because Baramula doesn't uh, stop here. Baramula is up to Uri as a district. So, ba Bara, Greater Baramula doesn't mean this town itself. It is it is a district. It's a district headquarter. So, that was my dream. I suffered a lot. I was... Uh, subjected to attack of uh, head guarded uh, twice and um, straight straight firing in the presence of CRP and JK police I was shot at uh, somehow I survived however the splinters of the grenades are still in my in, in, in my feet you can see it here do you see this this yeah. this you can and these bleed even today after so many years. You see that? Yeah. You see that? All these are the <laughs> the the rewards that I received from the so called radical Muslims. And God knows who else. So uh, JNK is witnessing election after ten years. Uh, how do you see this election? Uh, uh, how different it, it is from 2014 and how important is this election? There is a lot of noise. You will see, you know, everywhere people raising slogans, you know. I don't know if they are volunteers or if they are people who are who receive something in reward. But uh, political activity is welcome. Despite the fact that some of the elements involved in the political activity may not be real, you know, golden-hearted uh, patriots, but the process is good. And uh, if we talk about Kashmir, things have changed in the last four or five years. So, how do you see this change? You see, <laughs> I just told, told you that seventy-third and seventy. Fourth Amendment were implemented for the first time. And that takes care of the economic development of the rural Kashmir. And uh, 
my wife Safina, if I am not mistaken, has uh, was able to generate uh, enough people's participation in uh, Kiriri uh, district, uh, and with complete honesty, the officers cooperated. Unexceptional cooperation, honest cooperation, and I think. Uh, 400 to 500 crore rupees were invested. That transformed the life of that district because she was elected only in that district. So uh, there is no doubt that uh, the decision makers in Delhi uh, have done their best to involve people in economic, social activities, cultural, academic activities. And they have also succeeded to a great extent. But uh, Rome was not built in a day. So Kashmir, Jammu and Kashmir uh, will be economically advanced today much more than they were 10 years back. But what we need is a greater sense of belonging and cooperation. And that will take uh, good-natured representatives of the people if we, if we, we talk about the kashmiri youth one important thing that most of the people i saw are raising the issue like uses of drugs by the by the youths uh, what are your plans to uh, deal with this menace okay, I, I will have to consult you know lot of experts from india from union of india because this is a psychiatrist socialist uh, social and, 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 and a, a political malice and it will require experts from all these fields who will pool their intellectual, moral and political resources together and then implement uh, the, the, the measures that they envision with. Of course, they will have to take into, into uh, confidence the decision makers, the government of India because it has to be a national effort. It can't be an effort of just some people from Kashmir and some in Jammu. It is a, a almost a, a peaceful revolution which will involve the entire Indian state. So you have served uh, for a long time uh, for JNK. What are such things that you want to do for Jammu and Kashmir? What are such projects? I have to say that you have to say that you have to say that you have to say that जो जो विरासत समझते हैं वो आप इसको इसका जिक्र कर सकते हैं। One last question, is there any plans to join any party post election? I can't predict what will happen in the future, but today I have no such plans. Okay, thank you, Bekesa, for talking with organizer. Thank you, thank you, sir.